Let's just go to Scotland, shall we? Yes. Shall we have a look at a bit of video from uh, this week? This is Nicola Sturgeon's latest difficulty with the uh, trans scenario. Tom Gordon. Tom Gordon. Thank you, uh, First Minister. Um, I think you just referred to Ireland Bryson using the word her. Does that mean you do, in fact, think Don't she is a woman? Anything into... I, I am trying to rationally... To individual, Look, you started I, saying I'm, her. What I'm trying to do is address the issues rather than take it into the kind of, uh, you know, headline generating. I, I'm trying to rationally deal with the issues that arise here, um, and that's what I'll continue to but, try to do. Why did you say that? I, you, I, I can't remember. I'll it take your word for it. it. Well, like fine. A Freudian Look, slip I'm, I'm trying think of not Isla to. As a woman, is that I'm, not the case? But, but what I'm saying is, Isla Bryson calls herself a woman. But what I'm trying to say is, in the context of the prison service, that is not the relevant factor here. The relevant factor is the crime that uh, the individual was committed, uh, has committed, and has been convicted of. But we've all been asking you, and you've been running away from the uh, the question. We have been asking you for days. Do you regard Isla Bryson as she a woman? She herself as a woman. I regard uh, the individual as a rapist. And in the context, to say whether the, the context of the prison service, what matters man. is that uh, the individual was convicted of rape. And that is what we're talking about here. And that's what I will continue to, to focus on. And it's never going away, this, is it, for her? Because she can't escape it now. Oh, I hope it's not going away. She's become my favourite weekly news item. Yeah. Every every week brings fresh joy. Mm. It's hilarious. You see, the thing about all of this gender ideology is that nobody can really explain it or justify it. When you ask no. when you ask questions like, well, what is gender? What does it mean to identify as a woman? Etc. The basic things. No one can ever really give you mm. a satisfactory answer. So you've got academics who've produced essays and papers which are so impenetrable that I think that... People don't want to pretend that they're they're stupid mm. and they don't get it, so they go along with it. And what Nicola Sturgeon and all these policymakers have done is it's like they've created a maze. They've created a maze yeah. based on gender ideology. And we're all supposed to be lost and confused and not speaking out because we don't admit we don't get it or we don't want to be seen as unkind. Yeah. We don't want to be ostracised for being unkind or, or, God forbid, conservative or something. But now she's gone into the maze and she's lost. Yeah. She's falling over. She's lost she in a maze a of her out. own creation. She can't get out of this. Yeah. Because if she says that Isla Bryson is a woman, yeah. which pleases the trans ideology activists mm. she upsets women people who care about the law rape justice yes. if she describes isla bryson as a man she undoes everything she's ever said mm. about self-id she's caught between a cock and a hard place she's got nowhere to go what, what's she going to do and so every week we're just going to have to see that keep seeing this play out may they never stop asking her questions it's be about brilliant. it also because of course she was before all of this blew up in her face saying exactly that that Isla Bryson was a woman because she believes herself to be one. Now mm -hmm. she can't say it, so she's already contradicting what she used to believe. Yeah. Because when she had that other interview, that was Tom Gordon, by the way, who is a guy I know quite well, and he's a terrible uh, political uh, editor, good guy. Um, when she was asked last week about it, um, when she realised that she'd got herself all tied up in knots, when she said, in this context, uh, clearly she's not a woman, you kind of go, OK then, so now you agree with everybody who was against you before. It's incredible. It really is. And now yeah. she's got negative uh, polling ratings for the first time in the history of her leadership of the SNP and of, uh, of Scotland. And now um, Alex Salmond is having a go. So even he is starting to look relatively sensible in, in the case of, uh, of this particular yeah. story, saying that the gender law has actually squandered the independence uh, movement and its momentum. Well, I can't think of a better result. She mm. was she was politicking entirely for independence and her own agenda, quite happy to throw women and women's rights under the bus, yeah. and it's done exactly the opposite. So good, good I for know. her. She's she's you know live by the sword, die by the sword. She's fallen on her own sword yeah. here. I think she's done now. I think she's finished. I hope so, and I hope really that what's really finished is this crazy illusion. Mm. Uh, do you know going back then to Sam Smith and Kim Petras? What's yes. interesting if you read the articles about the Grammys. 
all the way through they're described as they and she. Mm. They're both biological males. Yeah. You know, we've reached this crazy stage where we're we're literally denying the evidence of our own eyes. Yeah. Now, human beings are excellent at judging sex. Mm. We almost never get it wrong yeah. when we meet somebody in the flesh. And yet we're constantly being called upon, not just in terms of courtesy but so and social applications, but, but also legally yeah. to deny the evidence of our own eyes and use the wrong pronouns yes. for people and it's this example of the rapist that really brings it home and, and, and unfortunately I think some media companies are complicit as well because as you say you know covering these mm. events you should be able to call those people who are involved in those events not what they wish you to call them because under no other world in newspapers that I know of or in media coverage of events do you refer to people other than as you refer to them you know, you don't go to a press conference where somebody says, I'd like you to call me Tommy, even though my name's actually Jim. And you go, oh, OK, Tommy. You just go, no, your name's Jim. I'm going to call you that. I'm going to write down that your name is Jim and you said this. Mm. You know, just because you want me to do something different, that's not journalism, is it?